Hi, this is Dylan with Bulldog Rooter, and I'm here at 3717 East 18th Avenue, Spokane, Washington, 99223. This is a sewer video inspection. I was called out for the main line backing up. I've cleared the blockage, and the blockage consisted of solid, solid waste and toilet paper and some root growth. So, uh, my camera says I'm out about 120.3 feet right now. This is, we're looking at the city main right here. And pulling back towards the house. We've got six inch concrete. About every three foot section of pipe, there's a joint. Here's a section of PVC that's been redone at some point. Some minor root growth. Really minor root growth there as well. Here's a transition from concrete coming back onto property in a cast iron pipe that I believe was it said on the schematic that they that the line consisted of uh, concrete and cast iron on property, 4 inch, and that they, they ran cast iron pipe through the original cesspool to rerun the sewer, to hook on the city sewer. I believe we're in Orangeburg sewer pipe now, so that must be at the property line there. Yep, root growth. With Orangeburg, um, ideally, you know, with any other kind of pipe other than Orangeburg, it would be ideal to be able to maintain it and clean and clear the root growth out of it with a 4-inch diameter cleaning blade, but that's just not an option because of what the pipe consists of. It's pretty much compressed tar paper, and throughout normal Orangeburg, you see blistering, ovaling, and then a collapse. And that's the three stages to the, to the life of Orangeburg. Anything that's not smooth in a sewer line will obstruct the flow of solids. There's something going on here. It's like a little speed bump. This pipe must have been laid on a rock or something is partially protruding through the pipe. Hasn't quite punctured the pipe yet. But uh, yeah, so we're going to see as I pull back a few more blisters, just like a skin blister. Root growth, like this. I might hit that with my with my machine as well before calling it quits. There's a potato bug. Root growth. It hasn't quite taken a turn for the worse yet with that, uh, with those orange bird joints and uh, roots. Here's the end of my cable. Got some roots on it. Here you actually see the pipe ovaling. Seems like it's partially ovaling right there due to the roots. That's definitely a, a structural issue. And then you see the blisters as well right here. So it's kind of like eventually it'll just be too much of a mountainous terrain for all that solid waste to be traveling through the pipe very easily and properly. And then we transition back to cast. Okay, 
and the length of this line is about 100, 114 feet long because my counter was at 120, but I'm about six feet away from the clean out now um, with my reel, and it starts counting the second it leaves my reel. So that's your video inspection. Thank you for choosing Bulldog Rooter.